They're the biggest, fattest, gnarliest fish in the water. Calm to chaos. They're called kings for a reason, right? This year is the most critical year for King Salmon. We're at historical lows, and progressively over the last decade, we've seen our population and our return of kings just drop and drop. Alaska is at this crossroads, and if you look over the near term, there are some real causes for, for deep concern for anybody who cares about wild salmon. Everybody treats them like they're a common food fish, like they're never-ending abundance, and that's not the case. It could possibly be trawlers out in, uh, in the Bering Sea, it could possibly be uh, you know, high seas fisheries, uh, or it could be just a, a natural cycle. You know, I don't think these people really understand the importance of the king salmon to the region, how vital it is to us as a people. I'm done pointing the finger. I'm done saying it's you guys' fault because it's all of our fault. It's everyone. Everybody's taking at such a high rate that it, it just can't withstand take, 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 take. You know, we have loved this fish to death. I mean, that's, that's part of our problem. Sometimes it's just good enough to play a fish, let him go, and let him go do his thing. Unless you actually take a big king in your hands and look at it and release it and get that feeling like, okay, it's gonna go back. Oh, there's the value in it. This is a special fish, and we're gonna treat it like it's a special fish.